Hello, this is MakerJ101, and I was just playing around with some induction motors today and trying to make them basically generate electricity, and I sort of discovered something, not anything new, I don't think, but, well, obviously not something new, it's just something I didn't know before, and I'm just going to share it with you guys. So as you might know, an induction motor is basically this, has um, coils around the outside, and then the inside, or the rotor, is basically a um, an iron core, and then it has a conductor threaded through it, I believe that's how it has to work, and the coils around the outside make an alternating field, magnetic field, and that induces some current into the inside, which makes it into a magnet, basically, and it can spin it around. But if you just spin a induction motor, it doesn't do anything. You don't really generate electricity, and so that's what I'm going to show here. And But I was actually trying to generate electricity with them, and there actually is a way and I read this today that I didn't know this before, that if you take the induction motor and hook it up to a power source, an AC power source, get it spinning to the correct RPM, so that it basically is spinning off of the... An induction motor will basically want to spin at the same frequency as AC, or however many poles there are in it. That's how fast it'll want to spin. It'll want to spin at that constant RPM. If you put a little, below, little bit of load on it, the... Um, RPM will drop a little bit as well as the current go up. So I believe that, or this is what I read, that if you actually try to spin it faster, it will actually start making electricity and um, assisting the making uh, current current flow in the other way. So, and it will actually put power back onto into the AC supply. So that's what I was trying to do. I couldn't get it to work exactly, but I found something else that actually don't need to have a AC supply on your induction motor. So here I just have a little, uh, little uh, this is actually a brush motor, um, and that's running off of AC, or a general purpose motor, I guess you could say. And then I have a induction motor down here, and this one's actually from Bread Maker. It's a nice beefy induction motor, and it's just connected with a belt. So what I'm going to do is turn on the um, this motor, and there will be no voltage across here, but then if I actually connect this to the supply for a minute, then there'll be the motor will start slowing down, and there'll be a voltage across here, and I can actually light this light bulb up from the induction motor. But not much more than on that light bulb, or else it just cuts out. So here we go. So I'll start this, this motor up. That one will spin up. So now we have it spinning real good. And then what I'll do is, as you can see, there's no voltage there. And if I touch the light bulb there, no voltage whatsoever. But if I connect this up to the supply for a minute, so it slows down a bunch. Now there's mains there. And then it kind of glitches for a second there. And it actually has the voltage now. So now there's 40 volts across there. And if I connect up the light bulb, it'll actually light up. But it kind of does an oscillating thing for a minute there while it stabilizes kind of weird. And you can hear the sound of the motor changing a little bit. But if I put any bigger load there, like this, uh, I think this is a 5 watt bulb, this one's like a 20 watt, or maybe 15. If I put this one across here, oh, sometimes it'll just go back. Now it's, now it's lost its field or whatever inside there, and now it's just spinning the motor, it's not doing anything. So, just something I found that, I don't know if it's of any value, but, so now it's generating electricity again, and then you could just short it out, and it'll just kill the windings. And I actually found that if you disconnect the capacitor, then it doesn't work anymore. So, I don't know, it's kind of weird. So, that's my little experiment for today. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.